Okay guys, back out on the bank, down the canal this time. Um, brought my little uh, whip with me. Unfortunately, I forgot to bring some extra small hooks. I've already had a little eel that's just uh, snapped the tray. So uh, I've got like a size 14 in me sort of car fishing gear. Um, it's, a, it's a big 14 as well, so probably not the best. But anyway, we caught a couple of roach. We caught a, a gudgeon and a, and a small eel. Um, so and now at the minute I've got, um, I'll just spin it around. So at the minute I've got the, uh, the two rods out. I've got the left hand rod has got a gudgeon on and the right hand rod has got a lobworm and I've put a bit of the salami um, goo on um, just because the canal is quite coloured and just fishing a single um, lobworm I just thought some scent just to just make it easier to find them and a couple of bleaks from the, uh, the gudgeon there um, so I'll show you the eel in case it gets away there's a little eel we've had so far. If we net a pike or whatever, you'll probably end up getting out. So, just show you now. Good little scrap on the uh, on the whip, and then I just had a take on what was the live bait, and I felt some weight, and then it let go. I wonder if it's an eel, possibly that had been chewing on the end of it, or possibly a pike. Um, but anyway. Um, I've put the a gudgeon that I'd caught out, and um, yeah, so I'll leave those two rods out now. I've got one more live bait left, um, so if if we end up using that, I'll have to bring one of the rods in and get the whip back out and try and catch us some more on this uh, shark hook with double maggots. But um, yeah, we've got enough bait, and, you know, forget a good few hours anyway, so. Hopefully, hopefully a nice a nice big perch. Um, but happy for whatever comes along today. Okay, guys. So the fourteen hook hasn't sort of done me any harm, I don't think. In a sense, I've just had um, two nice perch. Ow! <laughs> Ow! I'm gonna let this eel go. What? Oh. I just had two perch, but this. <laughs> so just had two perch, this sort of size. So and then and another rope. Another fish on, guys. Another perch. That's sort of three, all of a similar stamp. And the brolly up, so oh, a bit awkward. He's probably uh, the smallest of the three, but it's absolutely nailed that. Rain and sunshine, it's about, about right for how the weather's been. Another good fish, guys. Feels like another good perch. Oh, it's, a, it's an eel. Oh, God. The state of that. <laughs> so, we'll try and hold him up for a laugh. Thankfully, nicely lipped hook. Lip, lip hooked. I hope it wasn't the same one I just uh, put back. It's <laughs> a nice size roach, guys. Oh no. Is it a roach or a rod? I do need rud for the species hunt, but... And he has got the old upturned mouth.
Yeah, that's another one. I'm uh, I'm going with Rudd, so that's Roach, Rudd, Gudgeon, Eels and Perch for today. And I can now add Rudd to my species count. I have to check when I get home, but I think that takes me to uh, 20, 20 or 21 species. Yeah, guys, I thought something had picked up the, uh, the little gudgeon. Not a two-pounder, but <laughs> welcome all the same. Definitely a rod, that one. Yeah, he's definitely a rod. So that's five species today. And like I said, one to add to the count. Well, guys, after all that rain, it's now uh, a lovely day. Blue skies. Um, just a bit of a breeze, which I think is probably helping me, to be honest, with um, with the tow. Uh, second gudgeon of the day. Oh, look at that, guys. <laughs> just about a swinger. There's a cracking roach. Six species, lovely little skimmer. What have we got here, guys? Oh, it's a, a decent skimmer. I wonder if it's a hybrid, because I'll tell you what, it's, it's not half given a good account of itself. Say it's, uh, say it's a hybrid that it's cracking fish so uh, this must be the culprit then I've been the live bait's been picked up about five times real aggressive bites nothing there anyway finally we've landed one best perch of the day you nailed that let's get him unhooked let's hope there's a big Oh, <laughs> oh. there's a little pike. <laughs> Please don't tell me you bit me off. Of course he has. <laughs> Double maggot. <laughs> yeah. Double maggot. I saw it in the water. So it was a little small pike about about that long. <laughs> oh. Got a right slab on here guys, on the whip. <laughs> I think that's about taking the whip to the limit there. <laughs> Wow. 
definitely can't swing this geezer in. <sighs> Cracking fish on the whip. Another absolutely cracking roach on the whip there. Well, guys, um, <laughs> it was sort of, <laughs> it felt like it was ending on a bit of a low, even though I've had a cracking day. Um, I've just been missing so many fish on the live bait. And literally, I must have missed 10, I don't know. I just missed one. Um, I'd left the live bait out. I'm packing everything else away. And then, <laughs> I've just chucked him in here for now. He's just like this, I don't know. How big it is, but I haven't even unhooked it yet. I don't think it's two pound, but Whew. he wasn't coming off. He's absolutely nailed that live bait. So we just add that cracker. I don't think he's two pound. Anyway, I'll get him unhooked and we'll get some better footage of him. Oh. Okay guys, there's the final net. Six species. Biggest fish. Small bream. Hybrids. And I weighed it. It was one and a quarter pound. Biggest one I've had this year. Um, some absolutely cracking roach. Made up with that. Let's get them all back. <laughs>